What's up guys, DK, we are back to Final Fantasy 7. So where the fuck are we now? We we seem to be in some kind of desert prison with a bunch of junkies or thugs, whatever the hell they are, I don't know. Uh once again guys, if you decide to fight here, which I am not, uh watch out for those thugs because they will steal your um steal your weapons and then flee. And that's very, very bad. If not using your double material and stuff right now, so we don't want that to happen. Did not tell you not to come in here. D just hold on for a second. We just want to talk. You're gonna stay here, so I'm gonna shoot you. Just kidding. I'm shooting the guy behind the seat. Okay. They want none yet to get involved. Okay. How'd you guys get here that quick? Okay. Hey, that's Claus line. It's too dangerous. I can't let you get involved. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, we're already involved in this. We saw you and heard here, but just tell us what the hell's going on. You guys I heard that the murders in the men I heard that the murders at the battle like, were done by a man with a gun on. Was that you? There's another. Another man's got a gun grabbing on his arms. It was four years ago. And it's flashback time. Is, is this shit recording? Yeah, okay. Stupid damn computer. What's my worst thing? I remember I was on my way home, blah, blah, blah. Bet, dying, come quick, the vis being attacked. It's Shiva soldiers. Nani! Fire again? What's up with all the fire in this game? What the fuck happened? <laughs> hey, Bear, it's not over yet. Everyone's waiting. Let's go back to the village. Bear, dying. Protect the village. Hmm, old man. Come on, Brett, we gotta hurry. Ah. Uh, did they ever say why she was suddenly decided to attack the village? Brett, you stay here. Kaya, haha, <laughs> this bitch called me. Shut up. You can shoot all day and never hit them when they would aim like that. Haha, <laughs> stop playing around. And cover me. Ooh, I hate this bitch. Watch out. Time. Hang on. Listen to me. You're coming back to the village, you hear? Yeah, I ain't letting go. Come back, it was waiting for you. Elena and Marlene, they're waiting for us. Ow! So the serious soldiers uh, shot his arm while he's holding a dime. His arm is completely useless after that, and that's why he got the gun. From then on, I couldn't use him right on no more. I was depressed for a while. But then I threw away my artificial arm and got this gun grafted in. I got new, I got a new right arm to get revenge on Shimba, who took everything away. Back then, I heard the doc say there's another man who got the same operation as me, but his was the left arm. Hmm. But Dying's injury was the same as yours, right? No, he appeared to have fallen to his death, but somehow he's still alive. Huh? Yeah, that's right. He was deceived by Shimba too. Oh, that's what you're talking about. He probably joins if he fight. He probably joins to fight Shimmer. We're better on it. I gotta apologize to Dying before I can rest in peace. And that's why I gotta go alone. Do what you want. Is that what you want to hear? Well, I can't let you do this because if you down me, I'm gonna have nightmares. <laughs> but this isn't the end. We're too young to save the princess. Weren't you? When are you going to save the princess? Yeah, when are you gonna save the planet? Where I get the princess from? Shit, Tifa. You all know by now. That's all right. I'm not so different from you. That's easy to understand, it's you, Barrett. So there it is, Barrett. So I guess it'll be me, Barrett, and... Who else? Who else is coming with me? Of course, Tifa. If you stay here and make sure no one gets hurt and heal them and stuff like that. Uh, you'll notice that everybody, every character in the game... Let me see. 
I think so, yeah. Every character in the game, except for Vincent, has at least one scenario where you have to use that character. Uh, Yuffie is, a, is a optional, but there's still a scenario where you have to use her, and only her, sadly. Uh, Vincent doesn't have a, a fight where you have to use him, but if you use him in the fight with Hujo, you'll get like, certain coaches and stuff. I don't know why you wouldn't use uh, Vincent in the fight with Hujo. That fight with Hujo, I just bought the game. Yeah, right. This game is like, what? Came out 97? Everybody knows this game by now. And I forgot that that explosion does some shit that damn And Barrett doesn't appear to be a quick thing in the tip. I'm gonna have to fix that. Not on that, but he's using his, uh, his punch weapon. I don't want that. Remember that, uh, that W machine gun I picked up back there on those train tracks? That's a new weapon for Barrett, which happens to be the material growth. Everybody has one of these except for Vincent, I think. Uh, let's see, fire range, stop it. Let's um, not put that on. Got Bago, shit better. Might as well. Because Dyn uh, doesn't have any magic attacks. Let me make a little switch here, just give these to Barrett for now so I can go this material. That's about it. It's not like I want to use it. But anyway, let's get a move on. After that little cutscene, you have to go back up here. Oh, uh, what the hell? Oh, this way. And suddenly... Hey, man, what the hell happened to you? Okay. This one's been shot, too. Now we know it's not buried, because this... This dude was a live minute ago, now he's dead, but Barrett's been with us the whole time, so now we know it's not Barrett. Alright, just uh, make a little detour to the right through this gate. Uh, I think talking to him is totally useless, because I know where to go. Around here, and up here, ah, uh, damn, random encounters. And by the way, guys, if you didn't get the uh, Macho Magic at the beginning of the game, you can get it right here. These guys have uh, Macho Magic. I don't think that this spell is a uh, permanently mystical, but it's a good, it's a good enemy skill to kill off weak, um, weak multiple foes for running limit break stuff like that. So make sure that you get this. I thought they had something pretty good to steal at this point too, but I forgot what it was. Die, you bastard! Oh, it's full of. Try limit break. Slow explosion. Guess I'll go ahead in this. Come on, crowd. Oh, no one too. Well, I think I'm gonna heal first. Can't heal. Just die, you bastards. Peter Rain. And by the way, guys, uh, for those of you who are having a hard time getting on the slash. Meter Rain is more than enough to beat anything in this game. You finish in touch, okay, you, you necessarily don't need uh, Honor Slash, it's just overkill, seriously. And just like that, Cloud has already learned all of his limit breaks except for one. This is what Aerith does with her, um, her, what's her name? The Fear Brand, I'm, I'm gonna keep expressing that, how important she is for learning limit breaks in this game, and why I'm so pissed off that the creators decided to make her unusable permanently. After this one, stop I'm going alone and stuff like that. Okay. Dying? Is that you? Hmm. Now there's a voice I haven't heard in years. A voice I'll never forget. I was hoping I'd be able to see you again someday. I knew you were alive somewhere. We had the same operation. Listen to me, dying. I want to stop it right there. Okay. What's that? I hear a voice. Hmm? I hear a voice. Elino's voice. Am I saying that right? Uh, Elino? Elino's voice is begging me to not hit your rotten guts. 
That's why I didn't hunt you down. I know I was stupid. I'm not asking you to forgive me. Yeah, uh, Dying, Dying was the only one in the village who was against the, um, against, the um, Trust and Shiva. But everybody's like, come on, man, you know, let's, let's, let's move on to new technology, and now all this shit happens, so, you know, Dying's, like, pissed off with everybody. But, what are you doing in a place like this? Why you want to kill those that ain't even involved? Why? Why? The hell you care for? Are the people killed, go are the people killed going to understand why? The people of Korra going to understand just hearing the same as excuses. I don't care what the reason is. All they give us is our children and stupid excuses. What's left is the world's despair and emptiness. You still want to hear why? Alright, I'll tell you why. Because I want to destroy everything. The people of this city. The city itself. The whole fucking world, yeah. This is another one of those uh, guys who has completely turned to a maniac. He, uh, I wouldn't necessarily call him an evil person. He's just like totally depressed and like the same right now. He, he's he's lost everything. He has nothing left to live for. So he's just gonna kill everybody. He he he, he don't he don't care what happens to him anymore. He just wants to kill everybody. He doesn't give a fuck anymore. I got nothing left in this world. Koro, Alina, Marlene. Yeah, so he's lost everything. So he just want to kill everybody. Uh, Dai, Marlene's still alive. Hmm. I went back to the town. I thought she was dead. That's why I, I want to be able to side by side to the end. That's when I found her. I found Marlene. She's a Midgar. Let's go together and see her. Hmm. So, she's still alive. Alright, baby. I guess that means you and I gotta fight. Nani! Elena is all by herself. I gotta take Marilyn and see her. So in other words, the only way Marilyn can be the mother is by killing her. So I'm gonna go kill my daughter so she can be with the mother. That's basically what he's saying. Dying, are you fucking the same? Marilyn wants to see her mom, doesn't she? Stop, Dying. I can't die yet. Oh yeah? Well, my last been over since then. Stop, I don't want to fight you. You're my best friend and shit like that. Bear it. Cloud, you stay the fuck out of it. This is my business. And one of the most kick-ass boss fights in the game, Barrett vs. Dying. This is a solo fight. I love this boss fight, but unfortunately it is kind of easy. Dying, stop! I don't want to do this! Dying! Dying! I don't want to hurt you and stuff like that. You're my best friend! Eh. Don't make me do this! Time! Time! Do not make me do this! Guess I got no choice. Uh, Diet all Mackie does this when you beat him, so just make sure the hit points are higher than 100. Ah. That's what happens when you grind limit breaks early on. Civil Armor. It wasn't just my arm back then. I lost something irreplaceable. I don't know where I went wrong. Dying, I don't know either, man. Is this the only way we can resolve this? By killing each other and stuff like that? I told you. I I want to destroy everything. Everything. This crazy world. Even me. And what about Marlene? What's going to happen to her? Think about it, Ben. How was Marlene back then? Even if I told her, even 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 if I did go there now, she wouldn't even know me. And what's more, Barrett, these hands are too stained to carry her. Yeah, um, I, I'm like a serial killer now, so I, I have no right to hold my daughter and stuff like that. Okay.
Give that pen to Mally. It was Alina. It's my wife's memento. All right. Wow. Marlene's already four fucking years old. Look at this shit. Molly is four years old, and yet she knows how to run a bar. I mean, seriously, a four-year-old girl knows how to run a bar. What the fuck is wrong with you, Square? Ugh. Ben, don't make... Don't you ever make Marlene cry. Or I'll come back from hell and bring you with me and stuff like that. Okay. Die! 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 Me and you were the same. My hands ain't any cleaner. I shouldn't be able to carry my lane either. Ah! Something? I want to go up. Like I told you before, you gotta talk to the boss and get win the chugboat race and stuff like that. Don's got his reasons I can't speak. You can't speak. So I got this instead. Oh, uh, Don's got reasons uh, he, he can't speak, so I get this. Yeah, bullshit. I want to go up. All right. Did you kill Don? You must have, or you wouldn't be holding this thing. Maybe now. So Dine's dead. Maybe now the place calm. The place will calm down. Now he's dead. Dine didn't care who he, who he was. Uh, what the hell you know? Right. I mean, I don't know anything. So, so sorry. Then will you get us out of here. Huh? Oh man, you guys are mistaken. I already told you. There's only one way to get out of here. You gotta win the chocolate race. And the gold saucer. And only one racer can go at a time. Nani? No, really. Even you threaten me, the rules are rules. I can't change it. If I do, the whole system here will mess up, and I can't do that. Okay, I'll let one go up there. After that, he's, he's got to deal with, with a D, Dio, whatever that dude's name is. All right, then. Cloud, you go. I can't ride your balls. We'll wait down here. Hurry up and wait that guy to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> okay, maybe I should stop, you know, adding cuss words to the, to the dialogue here. But, uh, I, I, I guess I am uh, swearing just a... Just a little too much. By the way. Hi, I have to tell you a story. Esther? I'll be your manager. Well, I have nothing against it, but... Tima probably does. This is Esther. She may look kind of funny, but there's no better manager than races. That is so rude. Well, now, nice to meet you, Cloud. All right, then, Cloud. I'll see you up the elevator. Esther, you find on, you feel them on details? Okay, now to my understanding, when I made my uh, top 10 most difficult items to obtain in Final Fantasy, uh, some people asked me how come I didn't include the um, the Knights of the Round or the Gold Chocobo on that list because the Chocobo race is very, 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 very easy. Once you get that Gold Chocobo, you pretty much can't lose unless you didn't raise it properly. I'll explain the race as the uh, as the race is going. If you want to read these things, just uh, pause the video. I gotta speed up this episode just a little long because it's already about what 15 minutes long. Uh, never, ever, 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 ever let talk about ride by yourself. Always make sure that you're controlling it. You knew. Hi, Joe. I wonder, are these two husband and wife by any chance? Hey Esther, you're looking pretty as usual. Thanks. I mean, arigato. <laughs> Let me introduce you, Cloud. This is Joe, one of the top jockeys. Chocobo jockeys. Nice to meet you, Cloud. If you're with Esther, then... Right, he's, a, he's an up-and-coming jockey. He's only been here for a day, and he's already made it up here. Nani! Oh, I see. So, what did you do down there? Sorry, you're not supposed to ask him about the past here. Pretty interesting. I have a feeling that we'll meet again. 
And yes, we are indeed going to meet again. And that guy is going to piss you off. This is probably the only guy that will be able to beat your um your gold chocobo because unfortunately, it doesn't matter how well you raise your chocobo, that guy's chocobo will always be faster than yours, and there's a goddamn thing you can do about it. And uh, don't forget that ramp material, by the way. But we'll deal with him in disc two. For now, let's just get the hell out of here. I repeat, let's go to the chocobo racing. And I can't actually go in there to these uh, slow walking dudes uh, going there. And he walked right through me. Okay. Yeah, they just walk right through you. Okay. Hurry up, baby. Oh, cloud. Uh, thanks for waiting. I wish you for this race. This is a choke I prepared for Seth. He won't lose easily. Oh, yeah. Do you know how to ride one? Yeah, I got it. Then good luck. Rule number one. You control the chocobo. Manual. Do not select auto. Manual. Rule number two. Always hold square button R1 and R2. Never let go of those buttons. When you're holding R1 and R2, your uh, your stamina um, goes back up. If you don't hold it, then this happens. Your stamina goes down. See that? My stamina's going down. That's very, very bad. If I hold R1 and R2, your stamina like stays where it is slightly. It'll it'll go down a little bit, but you know, while you're holding the scrub button, they run slightly faster, as you can see. When you do this, but without holding the R1 and R2 button, your stamina goes down goes down a lot faster. Now I haven't even spin it yet, and I'm like way ahead of it. Speaking of spinning, the spinning the spin button is, is, is the sucker button. You want to like save that for like the final part of the race. There's someone right behind me, so I guess I'll go and start spinning now. Yeah? In any case, make sure that you're always holding the R1 and R2 button. Yeah, that's how you And as you can clearly see, I totally left them in the dust. And I've got plenty of stamina to spare. That race is a lot easier than you guys think it is. That race is not as hard as some people think it is. Now, personally, I rarely do the long race. I always do the short race. The, the, the short race is just... I mean, I really don't see a point to doing doing the uh, long race. Oh, yeah. The owner told me to give you this letter when you won. Boy, if you read this letter, then you must have won. And won the victory that I'm sure you've earned. I heard about Don Fiesta. Now that you have a toast, I promise that I'll let your friends go. And you'll be set free. Also, by way of apology, I'll pay a little gift for you. You can use it on your journey. So I couldn't be there this time in person, but I'm a very busy man. Sincerely, Dio. A gift? <laughs> Cloud, isn't this great? The assistant manager just stopped by and dropped off the buggy for you. Now you can go with this and the rivers, no problem. Okay, I'll be waiting for your side. Hmm, the letter continues. P.S. I just recently met Sephiroth. He must have been trying to... Ah, uh, uh, Sephiroth again. Okay. Well, if you ever want to get your own race, if you ever get your own chocobo, come back again. And that, my friends, is going to be a very, very, very time-consuming quest, but it's definitely worth it. All right, baby, take a break. Let's get my baby back. Get my baby back out here, of course. Make sure you uh, pick up that rent material, because you can't come back here ever again, I don't think. Alright, circle button. How you move this down? What the? Oh, okay. Oh, the the dialer buttons move it. X gets off. X gets off and sucker gets on. Uh, unfortunately, you can still uh, encounter random random battles while you're on this thing, sadly. Okay, now we're supposed to be going that way, but first let's do a little backtracking, shall we? I'll meet you back at the, uh, uh, that's the wrong way down. I'll meet you back at the, um, at the place where Hujo was, um, getting his tan. Now, when you're going into the town, make sure that you go into town while you're on your buggy. I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, after you give this guy some gill, he will take you back to the Junior Harbor, so I'll meet you there. Anyway, back here in Junior, now you want to go through this door right here. 
We couldn't do this before, but we can now. This elevator wasn't working when you first came here. Um, that hurts a little bit. <laughs> All right. So, where the hell are we now? We are back in a place where we had to kiss the little girl. Yeah. And this bastard went there too. Yeah, what you got to say now? Anyway, the reason why... Uh, you want to you want to um, enter the town while you're on your buggy because when you do that somehow this thing magically it magically teleports across the sea. Isn't that pretty cool? You have to be on your boat to do that. So why the hell am I doing this? You ask. Okay, guys, there's something I want to note. Remember that Brady's guy, strategy guy for Final Fantasy VII. Why does the Brady's guys have so many? so many wrong information in the books Final Fantasy 7 braided guys page 177 it's it, it clearly says in order to reach the cave with the sleeping man you need the high wind or the blue and gold truck boat to reach that cave really okay now everybody knows that that's completely wrong because in order to get the great gospel limit break you have to come over here but you can't get the high wind and the special truck boats until, until you get this too. And of course, you can't use airs in this too. So what the fuck gives? You get it by riding this thing. You cross it like this. This is why a lot of people never knew how to get airs to find a little break because they read the guy. And the guy has a lot of fucked up mistakes in it. All right. Well, talk to sleeping man. Large material needs high level material. Alright, after that happens, just simply go outside and enter a random battle. After that random battle, save the game again. The reason why you want to save the game first is because I clearly doubt that you'll know how many battles you've entered. After that battle, go back in here and he should say something different. You've already fought 351 times, right? What you want to do is you want to um, fight a number of battles to where the last two numbers match. So in other words, I'm going to talk to him again when it says 355 battles. It could be 377 battles, 399 battles, and so on and so forth, but the last two numbers have to match. So I still have to enter four random battles now. Now let's go right back in there. And make sure that you do this um, close to the door so you don't end another battle for you before you know do what you gotta do and stuff. Alright. Oh, who are you? Okay, now he gets up. Hmm, I guess that was a fail I won't imagine here. You got the mithril. Uh, I don't know exactly how it works, but sometimes you will get a, um, you get a boat ring. And there are many ways to get that. We really came here for the mithril. Unfortunately, we can't use it just yet, so I guess that's gonna have to wait till a little bit later on. All right, guys. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go back to the um, to the Midgar Saloon off screen. I'm gonna build up um, I'm gonna build up Red's Red's limit breaks now because I'm getting ready to use them, and after that sequence, I won't use them again. I'm also gonna build up Eris's limit breaks so I can learn Pulse of Life, and we'll see you guys later. Take it easy.